about them. So yesterday they um, performed their very first ever display and ever the professionals waving away. Um, so today is very much audience participation. is the Team Monet. And throughout today you'll see the aircraft dancing around a little bit. This is caused by the um, beautiful sunshine we've got today causing a few thermals coming up into the top of the trees. So the aircraft will bounce around a little bit, making the pilots work that little bit harder, but also it shows you how beautiful close these young pilots are able to get. Powered by a VW engine. We have a, a number of aircraft here at Midlands that will be flying with uh, converted VW engines. Incredible to think that this uh, aircraft as a type first flew way back in July 1959. First flew at White Waltham. designed with simplicity in mind in every aspect, to be constructed with a minimum of tools and a minimum of speed. The LAA is an organisation that supports the home-built aircraft industry. Um, and there'll be people with garages and tool sheds around the country literally putting aircraft together, uh, signed off by professional engineers, and uh, that home-built industry powers an awful lot of aircraft uh, and the aviation enthusiasts to get them airborne reasonably cheaply. Well, the plans for these can be attained through uh, Mr T Taylor of Springwater Road, Lee on Sea, Essex. If you are interested. A very, very simple aeroplane. They actually have uh, four available to them, but these are the two that they currently display. Bruce is actually the aerodrome manager at Sleep Airfield and he runs the Flying School Airfield and Annual Show there. Ben's display pilot and drop pilot for uh, parachutists all over the UK flying the uh, Cessna Caravan. Somewhat more powerful and larger than this. I think he's having a bit more fun at this one, though, isn't he? This and the Druins that we'll see later with the Turby team. It's very much like how do you tell a happy biker, a happy motorcycle rider. They're the ones with the bugs in their team. Because, and get ready with your cameras for the split break. staggering 1800cc VW engine in these. But they were designed for a variety of different engines, um, including the Jap, the, uh, the small V8, uh, sorry, the V-twin, and up to the same engine that's in the Piper Cub, the uh, 65 horsepower Continental. Those are beautiful crossover passes. And um, it, it doesn't really matter which aircraft you're in, whether you're in a fast jet or a, um, a smaller simple aircraft like this, these crossover passes use exactly the same flight skill. And you can now also see how beautifully they create their join-ups as well, coming together. These guys, big waving pass there, ladies and gentlemen, boy, we're going to have a competition today. See, Helen, who has the best and biggest waves to the pilots as they go through? I have big confidence in my side of the team. 
because at the end of the day, when we all pack up, take away the fencing and take away the runway markings, this is a very large field. But what we also love about Ragley Hall is that even the people sitting up on the top Beautiful three-point landing. That's a ten-pointer. Absolutely lovely.